Milk. Crate. Marauder. A lot of it is the show, you know. So they went around and interviewed a lot of people. They interviewed Pat Cooper, and I'm just listening to some of the, the stuff they didn't even use in the special. And it's so funny. This is, uh, let's see, what is this track? Oh, first of all, they asked him, I don't know how he got on it, but he started talking about Joan Rivers, and you know he hates Joan Rivers? All right, I got to play you this. We'll have to do the history of Pat Cooper. Right? Yeah, I, I, that's what I would rather hear. <laughs> it's so great. For, for Joan Rivers, he starts going berserk. All you got to do is mention her name, and he goes berserk. It's almost like he's the Iron Sheik. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? Are you talking to me? The background on this was he once put out a comic book that he like hand drew. Yeah. Making fun of Joan Rivers, and Joan didn't like it. And he's like, "What's the matter? She can't take a joke." But you know, Pat can't. If someone drew a comic book about Pat, he'd fucking kill him. <laughs> All right. Joan Rivers is full of shit. She's a hypocrite. She's full of shit. I wrote a thing about Joan Rivers here, but I think he's up her ass. See? She likes Joan Rivers. So when I bang my Joan Rivers, he turns around and goes, well, you see, Joan, no, don't be that shit, Joan. She's full of shit. Joan Rivers made a comeback with that face because people paid to see how fucking ugly she is. And anybody that has a face like that has no respect for herself. That means she don't like herself. I wrote a little cartoon book about her. She got insulted. I said, it's a joke. It's a little thing. You're putting down a stewardess. You're putting down these people because you're mentally ugly. You're a fucking mentally ugly. You're not even a cunt. I want to give you the pleasure of calling you a cunt. You have no cunt. You have no cunt. It's just a blank there. <laughs> because what? She turned around and we became friends. And we worked two jobs. A month ago, they asked me if I would work with us. Why not? She goes, I don't want to work with him because he made fun of me. Everybody makes fun of you. You're fucking ugly. Your soul is fucking ugly. Your brains are ugly. I said, the only thing you know how to do is hurt people intentionally. Howard doesn't really want to hurt you intentionally. He gets pissed off, but I got news to you. Howard don't want you know, so I hope you drop that. I know he don't really mean it. Mean. I've said I hope you drop that. I don't mean that. But Joan Rivers, give me a fucking break. This is the ugly fucking broad because her heart's ugly. If tomorrow they made her look like Linda Ev Evans, she'd bring back that fucking, her face would wrinkle. Fucking Joan Rivers. If you ought to kiss my ear. No wonder her husband committed suicide. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'd commit suicide if it was her brother. That she don't want to hear about. Why did he leave this fucking planet? Look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like... He just he just goes all over the place. I mean, like the guy's a great interview because he's just so angry. I mean, right. I've never heard an angrier human being. <laughs> but this one, he, he first of all, he's trying to say Mel Karma's in, but he doesn't know how to say Mel Karma's. He's always in. said it wrong. And he, and then something about he's talking about who my friends are. And, wait, well, you got it here. I can't imagine this interview. <laughs> the interviewer ran out of the room. <laughs> who the fuck do you love, Howard? Let's hear about who you love from your heart. Who you love. Forget your girlfriend. Forget your girlfriend. Who do you love? You love your children. That's, that's, that's normal. That's okay. We love our children. That's fine. I'm not sure he loves his children, but go ahead. But who do you really that. love that works around you? If I was you, I'd go to Cosmason, and I would give him a blowjob. <laughs> I would give him a blowjob. Cosmason. I'd have to give him a blowjob. I'd say, hey, listen, Mr. Cosmason, I know you got money. Let, let me give you Let me give you a head, something. Let me touch your ass. Because she stood with me when nobody else would stand with me. And Cosmason said, Geez, I didn't know you'd like to do that. Well, maybe on Thursday. <laughs> He's nuts. Yeah. I, well, how about Cosmason blowing me? <laughs> how about how, I, he doesn't know if you've had conversations to tell Mel what, you, what he means to right. you? Well, he doesn't how does know. He know. I mean, what is he carrying on about here? And be, meanwhile, Mel should blow me and I should blow Mel. We were both equally good. Yeah, for you each should other. do sixty nine on each other. Yeah, is... sixty nine. If if I may correct that, Mel should blow me and I should blow him. It's sixty nine position. Robin's right. How does 69. he know? How does he know you haven't blown each other? That's right. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, here's. I don't know. Here he's just ranting about shit. This is Pat Cooper ranting. <laughs> when isn't he ranting? <laughs> he didn't even have to be asked a question. So, Howard, I don't know if you're going to marry that girl or not. I wish you the best. And remember, I'm a friend, not a part-time friend. And you tell Gary Delabardi, you tell Robin Quivens, and you tell Quibbins. Fred. <laughs> These are only one dimensional. Without Howard, it's over. It's fucking over.
And let me tell you, Gary, you had some fucking balls to go on holiday squares when you don't know your fucking ass from your hole in the ground. You were <laughs> terrible. You don't belong in certain areas. It makes Pat really mad that right. Gary gets to be on Hollywood squares, oh, yeah. or as he says, holiday squares. Holiday, holiday squares. squares. <laughs> because, Pat, you know, Pat is a comedian, and he should be on holiday right. squares, not Gary. <laughs> You understand me? I can't fight Mike Tyson, so I'm not going to get in the fucking ring. But some of you people think, well, because you're on Howard, you can walk on water. He's the only one that can. And I feel bad, Howard, that you got rid of Jackie Martling, because when you get rid of Jackie Martling, you give part of that charisma that was that was Howard Stern, the four of them. Freddie, Robin Quivers. Gary Delapati and Jack and Jack Marling, who's one of the nicest. He maybe asked you for fifty thousand. So you sit down, you discuss, get thirty fucking thousand. What are you gonna do with your fucking money? <laughs> I'm a millionaire, Howard. How you you'd love to know how much I make? You fucking shit a brick. I don't land in fucking Las Vegas. I don't land in New York. I fuck it. I spend it. I give. I pick up checks. It's wonderful. He gives. He bought land in Las Vegas. How did he give anybody anything? I don't know what he's talking about. But again, he's talking out of school. He has no idea about your relationship with Jackie. I'll do that. You're in your 50s. Where the fuck you going? All of a sudden, you're going to hear, Howard. Howard, can you hear me? That means it's fucking over. I'm hearing that every day. People say, what do you do for hobby? I said, I rehearse dying. That's what I do for hobby. <laughs> I'm 78 years old. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, it's over. Oh, my God. It's over. Pick up a check, Howard, oh, because the people check. are waiting for you to do that. <laughs> and get back into the neighborhood where they love you. Trust me. <laughs> neighborhood? <laughs> Who knows? This is all directed at himself. Go back to right, Roosevelt. because he doesn't know you. How would he know any of this stuff? Go back, to Ro Rose. Go back to Roosevelt where they love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, there's, there's, I have hours of this shit. So it says Howard's greatest shows are in the past. This is Pat Cooper, your friend. My friend. My only real this friend. This is his walk down memory lane. <laughs> you know something? The fun is not going to be there anymore because I think he's had his greatest shows already. And I started to believe. He hopes. That some of the people are going to start to drift away. I mean, Gary, I don't think so. Robin Quivers. Robin Quivers, she's a nice. She's never wrote a Why did she write a book? Who gives a fuck about what she's got to say? <laughs> you understand? She's great. She tells the news. So she tells the fucking news. Keep quiet because she blows that job. Where are you going to go? Clean fish? You got to know your strengths and weaknesses. These people's strengths are with Howard. That's the end of it. Howard's going to go on, go on, go on. He'll pick up be another billionaire. But once they fucking leave Howard, they're going to go easy with Howard. Nobody wants them. <laughs> because it's one that you're associated with Howard. So it's like James Gandolfini. He'll always be known as the Sopranos. So if you want to go and do a musical, they'll fucking laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> is Gandolfini, he knows everything. Is Gandolfini planning a musical? <laughs> he knows everything. <laughs> And then if Gandolfini went off and had another great role, it'd be like Pat would go, I knew he would have a great role, but not the rest of them. Right. Who is this? Uh -huh. uh, Pat Cooper is here. He's in New York because they're going to be roasting him. Don't at the you that. They're going to be roasting him at the Friars Club. Now, is that soon? Yes. When is it, Artie? It is October the 19th. They're going to do it old, old fashioned way. It's a lunch and a Friday. Ah. It's not televised. So it's like, you know, completely uncensored. Now, that's a big weekend for you. You'll be doing the charity thing and then the roast thing. Yes. It's like <laughs> I'm in show business. <laughs> Pat Cooper is. This Pat Cooper's girlfriend, too, is here, supposedly. Oh, oh. Yeah. This Pat, he went all gray. Oh, I he just, he's literally, he's literally, he's the door is falling on the woman. And that's Pat Cooper's girlfriend. Wow. Yeah, she almost got hit by the door, thanks that's to Pat. The, uh, Pat's got a young girlfriend. <laughs> Pat has a young girlfriend. How are you? Good to see you. You got a haircut, you son of a bitch. I God bless you. And you went Say gray. the trim. You stop dyeing your hair. Well, you just found that out. That's why I'm great. You did a good job of that. Well, I made better. a mistake. It was that I had a choice I to work with, with De Niro. And I said, dye your hair. So I would have dyed my hair working for you. This is my lady, Joanne. I want to say hi, hi, hi Joanne. This is Howard Stern. Right. And this is a seat. Robin, you look great. God well, bless you. you. Thank you, know, thank I was, you very much, I was, Pat. You, you know, really do. Too. So help me God. With all the crap, I love you. Well, I love you, too. No, you know, you're a little bit shaking in certain no, no, no. areas. I, I love you very much. Pat, <laughs> uh, I was watching the movie Analyze This the other night. And yeah. I was reminded when I was watching it that you're you had a it. couple of really good scenes in Analyze This. I had a great Bobby scenes with Bobby De Niro and then I had another one and analyzed that which was uh, that wasn't as good as the first one no. and you know the amazing thing I have never done another
another movie after that. I Why? was turned down by the Sopranos for a time because they're dickheads. Why would the Sopranos? <laughs> you mean you, you auditioned for the Sopranos? Audition. How about four times? And I said to Dave Caruso, do me a favor. Don't fuck my minutes up anymore. I got to come here four times. You don't know what to do with me? I said, what's the matter with you? So I was going to audition you? Four times. What are you, deaf? I'm wow. telling you, Howard. Wow. Four wow. times. Do you know who got the part? Yes, you know who got the part? For Frankie Valley. They oh, should have got Dead Valley. Are you kidding? Now, Frankie don't talk to me because he th can't take a joke. I said, he should have got Dead Valley, and he got pissed off on me. I said, fuck you, Frankie. If you can't take it, what does the matter say? He couldn't say Rudy Valley. He don't know who Rudy Valley is. That's right. Well, you know, you're right. It's, <laughs> it's insulting when you've been around in the business as long as you have, where they make you audition four times. Four. Not only that. I took a subway. I mean, you were in Analyze This. <laughs> it don't matter if I was in Analyze Your Mother, they ain't going to do it. You know no. what it is? They're going to bug up their ass and they don't want you, which is fine. I still love the show. I think it's one of the best shows. Has nothing to do with it. Dave reason... Caruso became the Chon show because he had the hottest show. But the reason you don't get these parts, <laughs> you know it, and you've said it yourself. Yeah. This guy burns every bridge and show. No! Oh, you do. You don't know how to play the game. I don't, don't play games. That's the difference. But you got to be a little bit Let nice me ask you. This thing is rotten away. What kind of wires you got here? <laughs> we have rats in the studio. <laughs> what, if you just learn to play the At game, my age, at no, 78, you want me to you, learn. Even when you were a young man. You, you know why I'm a success on this show? Why? Because I am who the fuck I am. If I listen to you, I'll be kissing everybody's ass. No, and you know what you'll say to me that. next? No, but you get the reputation of being impossible. I don't care. You don't care. Because I'm not impossible. Wouldn't you have been a bigger star? You I don't want to be a bigger star. What is you, your problem? Yes, you did. You wanted to have a sitcom. You wanted to have all of those good things. Can I tell you something? I talk to you like a brother. Right. I'm my great because I should ever see again. I said, come, I never went after. I never went after nothing. You know what I went after? What? what made me feel good. So, and the big thrill was like you. When you were Howard Stern before Cyrus. Right. You did things that nobody ever Seriously. heard of. Right. You fucking did things. You was magic. Right. Say, now it's over. <laughs> You'd like to think that, don't you? Well, because Howard, I love you, and I talk to you. Right. Now, another guy would say, oh, Howard, I love you, and kiss your ass. You don't want that of a man. You I want a man. It's over. I think I'm having a blast. We're doing some good radio. Some He's people doing say, what he We're loves. not doing what I love. Howard, I said it, and you've heard my shit. That Why do you keep calling me to ask me about what I think you are? That's ridiculous. I said you moved uptown. Did you get that? No. What does that mean? I don't know what you're talking Howard, about. Howard, you're, you're a fish out of fucking water. What is your problem? What are you talking about? They, well, why do you stick my microphone? This is exactly the, what I'm talking about. You come on the show, <laughs> you might be able to get some work if you would... I got like, more fucking work that no, can handle. Don't. Joanne, let me ask you something. You are his girlfriend. You are his, he's a lot of work. You are his girlfriend. <laughs> And it's got to be very difficult, is it not? Actually, he's not that bad. Now, how did this no, romance He's not begin? that bad. He's not that <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> bad. <laughs> Are you in love with that? that? He's a hard man to love, isn't he? I try to love him. He doesn't let me. Uh, is he a tough man to love? Uh, no. No. He's because not. I love he's a Pat. He's good man. I really he do. Really and is. it makes it so difficult to love him. It's almost like you he has this. You guys have a love-hate relationship. No, no. I, he has the hate and I have the love. <laughs> yeah, he's, that's how he's, he smacks you in the head every time you try to get close to him what is it what is it know. with this guy you ever going to go to a psychiatrist and figure this out i know you're 78 years old i know that you say but anyone who tries to love you you smack in the head that, that makes me something to you go ahead. clear this whole thing up all right because you're not you're, you're losing your depth all right you must have depth all right good i you are what you want to be you mm. are who you are <laughs> it works yeah. i am who i want to be no, I like not. to break balls when they tell me what I got to do that I don't want to do, okay? Yeah. I'm not saying don't break balls. I'm the biggest ball breaker no, on no, the planet. No, no, no. That's your business. I'm not the ball breaker. My business, I come eat. I don't tell a fucking butcher how to cut meat. He cuts meat, I come eat. When they start to tell me, like a David Chase would try to tell me this, and I say, hey, that's an insult. Did David Chase say to you? He was directing Four me. times. He said to you, you're not doing it right? No, no. They never say that to you. On the way out, the next day you get a call from the uh, woman that books the show. Uh, right now, we're not looking for uh, the, the situation. That's why, listen, the fourth time, you're off the air in a couple of weeks. How the fuck are you going to give me a job? <laughs> well, you must have gotten close to getting the job. You must have gotten close if they brought you back four times. Let me put it you blindly. Fuck. <laughs> The Sopranos, that's not my life. Uh, my life is, my life is you simple. you auditioned four times. My life you is simple. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> my that fucking life. My, wife. my life is simple. All I want to do. You know who that is, by the way? I don't know. Who is that?
I got my own problems. Well, Hardy <laughs> says he, Hardy said he ran into You're on the roast, ain't you? Yes, I am. Are yeah. you going to talk? I'm going to talk, yeah. I leave the hat home. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, you are You're Pat's girlfriend. Talk. You are Pat's girlfriend. <laughs> mm-hmm. He is 78 years old, and you are a much younger woman. I can see from looking at you, you're attractive, and you're much Thank younger you. than him. Thank Absolutely. You. I said that. So okay. what are you doing? Telling him a secret? Let's, let's ask the real hard You know question. what? People tell me you shouldn't say that. You oh, should fucking lie. Comes. Tell me you're only 60. I said, what can I tell a 60 if I I can't get a heart on at 60. It's better if I can't get a heart on at 78. People say, I understand that. Joanne. I tried every fucking day. Wait a minute. Let me I put a you. patch on my ass. No, I put a patch on my ass. I got to tell you, I put a patch on my ass. I'll take off for three fucking hours. I took up smoking again. I couldn't get a heart on. So do me a favor. Joanne. Talk to me. Yeah. Pat is very honest, and that's what I love about him. He says he can't get erect. All right. You seem like a young, you got a beautiful body. You keep yourself in shape. I could see why Pat. That's attracted to you. Thank you. I understand. Uh, this is a big score for him. Having a no, it ain't no fucking score. What are you talking about? No, I'm saying what happened to ass. like it? I didn't go after I want to get in her pants. Oh. I took her to Italy. I took her to Spain. But you're not with an ugly woman. You're with a nice looking what, woman. I would take you to Italy or Spain, too. What's the big fucking deal? She Joanne. Is an ugly woman. Joanne. <laughs> is it? I know Pat says he, Pat says he tried to be romantic, amorous romantic. with you. Yeah. <laughs> He kisses, he touches right. his breast, if I may say. Wait, I don't touch fucking nothing. You never touch the breast? What? It's your problem. I don't touch nothing. I don't nothing. want to embarrass Why you. You're not embarrass me. I'm fucking dead. Has he ever tried to make love to you? Yes, I he... grabbed the body ass this morning and I passed gas. That's your fucking answer. So, so, Joanne, is he telling the truth? He's never had coitus with you? He's never had sexual relations with you? I have never got into her vagina. Okay? You okay. want the fucking truth? Don't let the woman talk. I'm going to bust my butt. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Joanne, you listen. You don't go out at my age with a vagina. You go out with a human being that you like to be with. But you're in good shape. You're reasonably healthy. I am not healthy. good shape. Yeah. I'm half in a fucking coffin. What is your problem? Then he's in good shape. Yeah, I don't, why can't he get it up? Okay, I'm going to oh say he's God. the best lay I ever had. Yeah. yeah. There you go. What? There you go. Yeah, he's the What'd best you say to him? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne. Does it frustrate you that you're in a loving, no. romantic no. relationship with a man and he no. cannot get aroused? Do you ever blame yourself? I did at first. You did? Yeah, you but said, not now. You said, no. Pat can't get it up, maybe I'm not doing no. the right thing. Did you ever try lingerie or sex? Try, we try everything. Every Some men think you're going to fucking help. You hear me? Pat, I'm so sorry. No wonder you're angry. Don't be sorry. I'm I fucking am. happy. No, you're not. Well, you know, how dare you tell me how I feel? Every man wants to satisfy. When you become 78, come and talk to me. I will get it up at 78. If you beat 78. Now you're telling him he's I not going to make it to 78. You haven't got here yet. I'll it's just there. me, Robin. You're I'm telling him now he's not going to make it to 78? No, what we, yes, I made it. I can tell him, try to make 78. I'll tell you what I'll do. My Give father. up your heart on now, and I guarantee you 78. Because you don't get it. Would you sign a paper? No. Well, in other words, humping is more important than your life. I want my heart on. You, <laughs> and you, I want you're my a heart. walking heart on. What are you talking about? <laughs> Joanne. Yes. <laughs> you love him, right? Of course. Okay. And the most he can do to you is kiss you. I assume you kiss, Pat? No, not even that. You don't even do that. Joanne, why no kissing? Again, I eat too much macaroni. She goes, when the fuck are you going to stop eating that shit? <laughs> Joanne, are you, I, do you think of him as just a friend or is he your boyfriend? I, I, I think of him as... As my what? man. As your man. Yeah. He's your man. He's your go-to He's my man. He's your man. He's my man. He's my man. And Help you travel. You now tra- you tell me. Huh? You travel with him. Do you live with him? Yeah, no, I don't live with you him. You don't no. live with him. I don't no. blame you. No. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't live with him. It's hard to put up with him. But you have this relationship. What do you mean it's hard to put up with him? you say that? We really that. have a tough. good relationship. We you really do. do. Okay. And, you know? and there's kissing and involved there's, and no kissing? Yes. There is yes, kissing. kissing. Okay. Yeah, and, of course. And are your breasts being touched at all by Pat? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a breast man, Pat? <laughs> Does he ever touch your breast? He's an ass man. He is. Oh, he an ass your man. Ass. No. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, if you're loving enough with one another right. and yeah. you're stroking and kissing, maybe right. he will get erect. Right. It could happen. I think they're putting too much pressure on, on this whole thing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Do you sleep yeah. together? He does just... he hold you when you yes. leave? He does. Yes. He does. Yes. And yes. nothing, nothing happens. Let me well, tell you something. I can't say nothing. Right. Everybody you know? loves their way. Well, You well, love your way. I <laughs> Feed a woman my way. Right. I've never lost one yet, Howard. And right. it's not about dick dipping it in, pal. What's I don't have left? to fucking dip it in. I rather turn around and make my bridge hole. How's that fucking <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> believes this Pat, shit. I'm asking you. He's in a, he's in a box. 
Pat. I'm not in the, I got a fucking life. He's now on the Hamptons, got to worry about Katrina coming down there with that $20 million fucking house. I talk to you like a brother. Get the fuck out of there, pal. Hey, $20 million house. Fucking guy now's got a pipe, has uh -huh. a dog, and a girlfriend, and a fireplace. He's out of fucking fish out of water. What the fuck you doing in the Hamptons? You don't belong with Bon Jovi. You don't belong with Paul McCartney. Oh, was, you yeah. belong with the hey, working people. They belong. They're working. You belong. You gave them up. <laughs> now we got to pay $12 a fucking month to listen to shit that we got for nothing. Now what is he doing? He's doing the same shit for, the, for nothing that we pay $12. I've embarrassed you. you I, that's what's happened. I, didn't, I shouldn't have brought up your sex life. You're no, embarrassed. Fuck my sex first. life. I love to talk about it. Vagina, vagina, vagina. What the fuck more do you want? Do you pussy, mean? pussy, pussy. All right. I used to eat it. I used to love, not swallow it. He's I dipped not, it in. It's fucking over. He's not eating it anymore? I, but you're not eating it. Not, he won't lick you, Joanne. He will not do that. Do what? L with your mouth. I eat everything. I eat fucking thing that moves. Do you lick her? No, I don't lick her. She's ticklish. <laughs> you don't like that kind of thing? One day she sat on you my know. face and I almost lost my breath. Do you hear what she just said? You don't, you're so I didn't busy. Word. You're, so busy I didn't you're so busy talking, Pat, you didn't hear. She said she likes to be licked. I, I don't blame her. Right. <laughs> I got a dog that likes to be licked. What the fuck is that tell you? Do you see how sensitive? If you are, Pat, <laughs> how are you going to take being roasted? Number one, you've already attacked the people roasting. You said they're all nobodies. And they're, they're, they're no, even, no. Here's what I said. Even, Don't put words in my mouth. What did you I'm going to quote him. Who are you quoting? I am you a said? rancher. They're part of the herd, so go back to your fucking corral. That's what I said. There ain't nobody like me on this fucking planet like there's nobody like you. So I stand up. I have no disrespect personally for them. I'm the big fucking honcho. I'll take on any fucking comic you got, and I've said it to you for years. That means I have confidence. Why should I turn no, around and say it? You're going to be insulted. You're going to take it personally. I've been insulted by you for fucking years. No. I've been insulted by my mother. I've been you're insulted by my father. I've been insulted by her. Gary Delabardi. No, you're so sensitive. You know, I, my feeling, I, my you're not going to show up, huh? No, no. Oh. And I'll tell you why. Do you notice that all of the people who love you, the yeah. people, you, contemporaries, you understand what I mean by yes. contemporaries? People? Oh, well, no, no, no. People who came up with you in the business, yeah. you see none of them are showing up for the roast. You know why? You come on too strong sometimes. They're afraid. Freddie Roman's not going to be there. Yes, he is. He is? Is he Dick roasting? Capri's going to be there. Dick Capri is going to be there. Belzer's going to be there. Oh, he is going to oh. be there. Well, I, I got him. Listen to me. They're fighting to get to the fucking microphone. Are you serious? I was roasted in Florida last winter. What the fuck you want me to tell you? How do you react when these people... I love it. Out? I say to myself, this is fucking war. <laughs> Let's sit down. Because I've done 15 of these things and I closed every one of them. So why should I be afraid? I want to do a trial run here today. I brought, I've invited three comics to come in and do a, a little mini roast of you. I want to see you sit there and take it. Wait a minute. I came here by subway. I ain't getting a fucking dime. Now I got to turn around and That's do it. That's right. And, no, no, you, you sit kidding? there. Sit on the couch and let these guys say some shit about you. Let me see you handle it. I don't believe it. This is a contest? No, it's I not get a contest. I ain't getting a fucking dime for this shit. <laughs> Pat Cooper, by the way. I know he's got some up his sleeve. Pat Cooper, November 30th at the Broadway Theater in Pittman, New Jersey. He's still working. It's not over for him yet. See Pat at the show, Alice, in Hudson, Florida, January 21st and 22nd. For more information, you go to patcooper.com. This is Bob Levy. Bob. He, he appears Bob. to be pretty sure. How are you, Bob? How are you? All right. Ro roast Pat. I want to see him. See I want to see what he does when you roast him. Go but on. you can't. You can't. You can't do it that way. Well, yes, How you can. You, what do you no, mean? no, no, this no. All right, right now. Right. Right. Fuck, am I going to start an argument with him? Right, sit down before you throw your head back. Oh, you're going to. Oh, 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 here he comes up. That's fucking wrong. What? Why is this? Take paper out of your fucking hand. Put the paper out of your. Take that member's only jacket off. I don't have a fucking paper. And when I'm on a job, bullshit. Take the fucking paper out. Why can't he? He wrote his jokes. I'm going to with their ad living. They're full of shit. Only. Not my. No, no. Tell him to take the paper. You're out. already cracking. Fuck no. It don't work. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the coffin. <laughs> Give me the paper. Give me the paper. You don't need it. Give me your members only jacket. It ain't going to fucking happen. It, it gonna is going to happen. happen. It ain't going to happen because you're a bunch of cowards with paper. You got to fucking read. Well, what's the Where's the deal? greatness? Where's the greatness? Pat, you have that ability. I don't want no paper on him. You all the 
comedians. Are Fuck it. It ain't party. going on. All the comedians are going to bring paper. They all are. I don't want to know from paper. <laughs> They're going to bring paper. Then fuck them. <laughs> because I don't use a paper. But that's you. No, 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 no. You no. can't make up the rules of a roast. I'll Already the, the man rules. cannot be roasted. Exactly. I never saw you move your hands like that. <laughs> <laughs> the man <laughs> cannot be roasted. Joanne, you see, he's nuts. You've got to understand. <laughs> what? You've you got to understand. You're in a show business. And I don't know if you're coming in. I'm not being disrespectful to you. Please believe that. What do you know about show business? But if you're going to set me up... Yeah. You're going to lose. I'm not saying yeah, We just walked in just now. Why? Because how it is. Well, you're here all day long. Why I said, mom? wouldn't it be interesting? It would be funny to see if you can street? handle it. Let's see if you can handle being roasted. Now grab uh, your walker and sit down. Now sit down and get roasted right now. Ah, uh, yes, we're all pain in the asses. All right. I love this title. <laughs> let's see the man roast you and let's see you handle it. Okay. All right, let's hear some uh, jokes. A couple of seconds. Go ahead. That's it. Uh, Pat, do you know who I am? No. No uh, disrespect. I okay, that's all right. So I could be your son then, because he don't know who the fuck you are either. You could never be my son then, because I lost sperm many years ago. Uh, I'm not saying Pat's a bad parent, but he couldn't pick his kids out of a police lineup. That's not even funny, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, you're kidding me? Pat's always yelling and screaming. I don't scream that much when I get my cock caught in my zipper. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares, Pat. Everybody cares. You Nobody know, cares. Don't care that you have a pussy better than a cock, because that's how you talk. <laughs> For you people listening at home saying, who the fuck is Pat Cooper? Don't worry, the comedy world's been asking that for years. First you did Howard Show, then you did Opie and Anthony, and now you're back here. You Open switched the, sides uh, more uh, than uh, Andy uh, Dick. Finish this sentence. Right. Opie and Anthony got the best <laughs> fucking show they ever got in their fucking life, and if they, his friends are listening to me, I killed on that fucking show, but I'll say one thing. Yes, Howard Stern right. never stopped me from doing Imus and never stopped me from doing Opie and Anthony. So when I did it and I came back here, he was never angry that you're my guy. That's bullshit. And if that's what you're right, I would take up brickwork. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the greatest I roast ever. Exactly. Know. Even Howard, you're not even going to be able to get through the roast when they never roast you for real. Arguing you arguing with every line. Oh, I got to wait my turn. Yeah, right. That's right. You got to wait your turn. <laughs> somebody else go, Bob. Okay. okay. Somebody else go. Uh, Julie, Shirley, come on try up. Try roasting Pat and see if Pat can get through it. So far, you failed. Pat, so far, you failed. I failed. You haven't gotten through it. You can't hug, you sick fuck. Go ahead. That's what you do on a roast. God bless. I love you. I love you. Bob Levy. Bob, Reverend Bob Levy. What'd you say? I fell on my ass? No. I'm <laughs> saying you have a hard time being goofed on. Why don't you eat? I'm eating. What the fuck is happening to you? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I Fucking don't Fucking guy. Eat. $90 million. Dollars, you can't get a sandwich. <laughs> Shirley, try, this is Shirley. He's a, uh, Pat, this is Shirley. He's an up-and-coming comic. He's going to roast Who? you. Shirley. Right here, Pat. How you doing, buddy? God bless. Uh, Pat, I just want to tell you, first of all, uh, you're one of my my idols. Um, I, I said you're one of my idols, Pat. <laughs> you're very influential Certain in my parts life. Of my life, I go deaf. You're, you're very influential. This is one of the fucking times. You're very influential in my life. In fact, I always play Pat's age in the pick three lotto game. So thank you for that. Uh, do us uh, first of all. First of all, uh -oh. the people you're talking to don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> That's the best fucking thing. The best thing about this, though, the best thing about this is we know you're going to be able to handle it just fine. If That's the best new, thing about this. Comic, you just went old. Pat, <laughs> Pat hates Pat hates Joan Rivers, but truth be told, Pat hates success, and you would too if Freddie Roman eclipsed you career-wise. Oh, Ooh. but I don't know what that means. I think Pat. He's saying I don't know what the fuck you do. What does it mean? All you got to do is talk in Braille. What the fuck is he saying? He's saying that Freddie Roman did better career-wise than you did. Oh, Freddie Roman, of course. He did? Oh, Freddie Roman's a big star. When's the last time you heard of Freddie Roman? <laughs> Give me a fucking break. I'm on the subway coming here, and I'm looking nice. Let me try. In the fucking subway, 5.30 in the morning, they're coming over to me. Pat, you're going to do stern today. He says, back off. It's a nice day. Let, me try. <laughs> let me try to let this guy rush you. Let me do one more joke. One more joke. See if you can get through it. Get, Get, you get, 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 I, got, I got control of this fucking no, roast. You, Artie, you're going to be on that roast. You see what he does? Holy shit. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to memorize my act. I know that. Artie, the night of the roast at the Friars Club, Don't will, you, will you come in with paper? Not anymore. Truly, <laughs> one more joke, and then I'll let Sal go. go well, I do want to say, you know, Pat's wife uh, recently passed away, and, and my condolences. Uh, we know she's in a better place. In fact, I know she's in a better place because you're not 
there screaming and yelling like a no, fucking no, mental no, patient. No, no, no. And odds are, and I'm going to wait for the She's more land. successful than you are. You don't stop to wait for the also, last. Also, also, no, he's no. scared shit also, because he wants to get this thing over with. <laughs> also, Pat prides himself on being an everyman. He'll be the first to tell you he still takes the subways till this day. Unfortunately, he's the last to know that no one on the subway even knows or has a clue that you're a fucking celebrity. Hey. They just think you're another crazy, gray-haired old man <laughs> wearing pants designed to hold as much shit as possible. Oh. Wow. Crazy old man. <laughs> Well, let's uh, let's uh, be Did he hold for the laugh long enough? Thank you, Shuli. Uh, Shuli, great job. Thank yeah. you, Bubby. Right, hey, Pat, out. you know what? I've been listening to you, Pat, for 20 years. And you know what? I admire you, and I'm going to listen to you today. I'm going to throw away the paper. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. I'm going to talk to you man-to-man, -man, no paper, no jokes. Attaboy. All right? So my first question is, who's the ugly cut you brought? Oh. I'm talking oh, to man. That's not funny. Can I answer? That's ridiculous. Can I answer? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm an ugly slut. I keep fucking that one up. Go ahead. Go ahead. What kind of thing is that? I First threw away the paper. I'm talking to Pat. I learned this, I learned this from Pat Cooper. Who's, who's, that, who's, who's that filthy trap, you old fuck? Who is she? Who, who's that filthy trap, you old fuck? Who is that cum guzzling slut? Who is that? No paper. No paper. Where's the fucking humor? There's no humor in that. Just, just like, all right. I won't make a statement. At one of the roasts, uh, Jerry Stiller, God love Jerry. I love him daily. And someone goes up and talks about Jerry Stiller's wife's vagina. What the fuck is that got to do with a yeah, this guy's in bed deep. He's sinking. He's bed sinking. Fuck he's sinking. Hey, hey, Pat, hey, Pat, he's Get to the to paper. Pat. Where's the paper? Pat. Get the fucking paper. Hey, 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 give me the paper, paper back. back. I can't take it back. Ah. Sick. So, how, get out of here. How, do you, how do you date somebody that's such a little bit of cock? Come on, come on, get out of here. He don't bother me. No, he's <laughs> he don't bother me. I threw away the paper. How Howard, I believe Thank you. I love Thank you. you. All right. Fat now, can we get some comedians in? Why do you need <laughs> yeah. a roast? Don't go to this <laughs> really? roast. Okay, don't go. Something intelligent? Oh, don't, really? Don't go to this roast. It's, you see it how seems you, that Pat's going to be fine. You see how upset you get, though? Your I'm hands not upset. Shaking. That's part of my fucking living, you sick bastard. What's the matter with you? You don't have a living. Joanne, I, you know, he's trying to get laughs, but you were very lovely, by the way. Thank you. And way too good for Pat, thank trust you. me. And I'll... Right, thank <laughs> you, Sal. You're I've welcome. been a fan of yours and Robin for since day one. I am actually oh, shocked that a beautiful woman would be oh, with Pat, because uh, I'm sure you can get other men. He's actually a beautiful man. You really Really? Yes. I, I, I yes. think yes. you've got to really side. know him. That's the side he never shows yeah. up. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Deep really down inside, true. I believe Pat is a very sensitive he's man. Oh, he is sensitive. But very sensitive. Because sometimes I get confused, what is beautiful about Pat? <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. He's a kind man, I'll tell you that. And do you have, did you see good, evidence? Kind. What are some of the evidence that he is kind. He's good to me. That's all I know. Right. He's very good to me. He's worries about me. He's, this is the know, same just, thing that Ava Braun like that. said about Hitler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Robin should have roasted. <laughs> Pat, why continue to do these uh, stand-up shows? I know you're going November 30th at the Broadway Theater in Pittman, New Jersey. You could retire. You could relax. You could give it all up. Howard. Go ahead. I have more money than you'll ever earn. <laughs> <laughs> I talk to like a brother. All right. Okay? What now? What you made a lot of money. Of retiring, it's a question of, I still have a following out there. I'm the last of what I do for these particular people that follow me. And when that's over, that means I'm over. So I'll wait till when I can. I sold out Pat Truck last week. I sold out Connecticut. I sold out the Westchester Broadway Theater. So I must be still doing okay. You're doing very well. Are you, uh, would you say you and Don Rickles are the last of a breed? Or do you admire him at all? Well, is if it... you put me in with Don Rickles, I'm, I'm proud because You're I proud love Don. That. Absolutely. Don is the last of, of, of that kind of ratty tat kind of thing. And I'm one of the does last he, of Does those. Don still have it? Is he? Well, Don is 81, Don wants a serious, so you know where the fuck he's going. All right. At 81, I said, Don, you know, just enjoy. It's not going to be there like it was. You had your, 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 your beautiful scene in the sun. Right. You know, just enjoy and be well, and that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm Were you jealous it. that a guy like Rickles got to hang with uh, I'm never Sinatra? never jealous of anybody. I mean, you're an Italian. You never should be jealous hanging with Sinatra. Anybody. You're an Italian. I'm jealous that you got this fucking job. That goes, <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> that I cannot understand bit. it. I'm you 
just got through the cracks. I don't know how the fuck you did that. I'm just trying to make the money you're making. That's all. That's no, all. No, you're not making. You're with the Hoy Palloy now. You moved uptown, Howard. That's you're right. not on the streets with us no more. I'm, and let's hope oh, I never get friend. back there. I'm, I'm hoping to God I never get you're back there. You're gonna get back there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Listen, Pat, I'm excited for you. You got Thank a roast you. coming up. That is an honor to be roasted at the yes. Friars. After all the roasts you've done, it's about time they roasted. Well, you. that's kind. Thank you. It really is, and I and I hope it goes well for you. I could see it's going to be a horrible night. It's going to just it's going to end in disaster. There's going to be a lot of interrupting. Are you going to interrupt at no, the Friars? No, you are not. You're going to let guys go. When they roast to me, I keep quiet till they say. And now the man we're roasting, and I get up, and then I'll see the secret of a roast is not to write nothing down to wait and hear what they're saying about you really then you know what you can't say in other words when i'm roasting somebody they say well, we're roasting howard stern they say howard stern this this i say can't say that I can't but you don't have that. to prepare material at prepare all prepare my balls i'm a fucking genius when it comes to that <laughs> shit. i talk in my sleep are you fucking you're crazy? telling me i want to know the I truth i roasted god this is i important. roasted jesus christ in my sleep no, no, what no, the no. fuck is your problem <laughs> this is important for me fucking to know man don't understand you're still eating this fucking guy doesn't I know. Eat. well look at the size of him. look listen to me <laughs> Wait, this is really important. I want you to be honest because there are a lot of young comedians listening to this show, and I want you to be honest. This right. is going to help them. For once in your life, I'll help, help anybody. Some, help somebody for once. Let me for once. I help you, you sick bastard. What's the matter with you? Listen to me. Yeah. You're telling me that before you go to roast someone, yeah. let's say they call you to roast President Bush, yeah. you don't sit down ahead of time and figure out in your mind the kinds of jokes you want to do. No, Here's what on, I know about on. President Bush. It's Come not on. jokes. Come That's on. the secret. That's not true. You make jokes. I never jokes. told a fucking joke in my life. It's true. Honestly. He doesn't tell jokes. Now, ho, ho, <laughs> ho, ho. He tells his true. Ho, tonight I'm roasting Bill Gallo. Who is that? From the Daily News. Cartoon Bill from the Gallo. Daily News. I'm going to the Marriott tonight. They invited me. Now ask what I'm going to talk about. Bill. Who gives a fuck? I'll see what's there, who's there, and I'll do my 10, 15 wow. minutes. Wow. Very impressive. No, but it's because, well, look, look at you. Come on. Look, all right, look that's at you. very you impressive. You have a script every five minutes in front of no. you? No. Well, that's what makes you what you are. That's right. But you know as a comic there are certain punchlines and jokes no, that you got to get no, to. No, you don't. All right, let me ask you. How can I say a punchline We say if uh, Larry Holmes is going to be there You're tonight? You're not going to know anything about Bill Gallo? No, I know. Only thing I know about Bill Gallo is he comes from uh, Corsica. That's all I fucking know. From there, I mean, I've met him a couple of times. I don't want to know anything about Bill Gallo. <laughs> I want to sit there. I want to break his fucking balls the way I want to. Wow. Well, Artie, that's impressive. Uh, Have you learned something, Artie? Artie? No, I, I. Well, I've known this about Pat for a long time. Part of the reason I went, I agreed to do this was I just wanted to see his rebuttal at the end. You know what you got to pick up? It's it's rare that he's on TV. Pick up Drew Carey's roast on uh, Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. Right. And you'll see what he's talking about. He he, he goes at the end. He doesn't t he doesn't tell setup punchline. And he destroys. He just rips on people, and he goes. You it's know, not. And, it's not that I. It happens to come easy. With I me. hear you. Are you nervous to perform on the Pat Cooper yeah. roast? And, and a, yes. yes. Why? Very you nervous. You are nervous. I'm more nervous than when I roasted Donald Trump and you Hefner combined because he's a real. He's, to me, he's the real guy. He's arguably the best roaster but ever. But you write out jokes ahead of time. I definitely do. I don't have that talent. <laughs> see, see, sometimes Pat doesn't realize not everybody has that ability. But uh, right. I write jokes. I write. They don't want to know punchlines. Oh, He's going to write jokes. Yes, he's so writing jokes, but he's going to memorize them so he doesn't have. Now to I will. Yeah. I'm not disrespectful for him. <laughs> That's how he down. works. He's a very funny guy. I don't disrespect guy. him. That's him. I don't have a piece of paper in my fucking hand. You Maybe understand? if you wrote something down, it would be... I don't write talk down. <laughs> because if I write right. it down, let all me right. tell you something. If I write it down and read it, and a minute after I write it down, oh, so it's not funny no more. I want it. I want to fall on my ass or be a smash. Hey, you see who they're bringing back to radio? This Imus. He never got a rating. Why would they bring him back? Right. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> this man is a coward. A coward? Oh. He's uh -oh. a fucking coward. And right. let me tell you something. I talking. gave this guy radio, and the last time I heard him was when he said that he inherited me from Stern. And I got on the phone and tried to get back on the show the next week. Because I, there's a guy that I don't like, and how and, and I mislikes him. And he took the guy's part, which is his privilege. But to turn around and say he inherited me, I saved his fucking ass in Las Vegas when he came Well, you see what he's saying. He never had an original idea. I would have you on my show. Then he wanted you on the show. He never had you on the show. Thank you. I said that. Yeah, that's I what I'm it. saying. Now, here's the, here's the coup de grace. That means here's the real thing. Right. The coup de grace. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to shopping, 
with his fucking tail between his legs. Never now, should have done that. That you would have never done. And never. I said that on radio. I don't know if never. you heard it. I'd rather jump I out said, of the window. You would have told him, fuck you. I, was I told me. a joke, and if you don't like it, fuck you. Right. But he's a coward now. But wait a minute. He wound up with $20 million. Now he's going to go on radio again. But it ain't the same. No. It'll never be the same. It never was good to begin he, with. I, well, he got lucky. Then he had that guy McGurk. He's horrible. Another sick, sick fucker. Another okay? fucker who calls me <laughs> for a job every week. Then he gets on how it turns a piece no, of no, shit. No, no, yeah, no. see? He wants to be a comedian, but Greg, he can't, he can't get a laugh in a fucking barrel of monkeys, trust me. But I that's know, I worked with him. He, there was no, I that's didn't even know he was in point. humor. I didn't even that's know that was his that's occupation. That's 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 that. He's making this thing. I don't wish him any harm, but you know something? When he turned around and cowed, cowed down, I was fucking shit. He go to Tarp Shopton. This is my opinion. I said something funny. You want to go hard? Do what the fuck you want to do. And I got news for you. Bring all your friends and, and pick at me. Fuck you and the picket. That's a man. If he's wrong... I'll say fine. He said worse things than that before that Rutgers thing. He said worse things than that. Of course. You said worse things than that. Pat. All right? But you stood by what you said. I'm That's Pat. why you're a man. That's Pat, right. The problem was it wasn't funny. Huh? It wasn't funny. That's if, he, right. if he had made anybody laugh, nobody would have picketed. Uh, Joanne. <laughs> That's yes. true. He doesn't even get semi hard. <laughs> All this energy and, uh, that, and no place to put it. How could that be? I mean, the man oh, is that's so. That's why he's got so much energy this see, morning. Yeah, but you can see his blood is flowing. <laughs> I don't understand. You know what? If you want to get him excited before sex, pull out a piece of paper and look at a list of things after that. That's right. Uh, Dominic Barbara wants to say hello to you. A very famous attorney, Dominic, Dominic Barbara. Barbara. Very famous. Oh, attorney. I love Bobby. Bobby, yeah. yeah. He calls me Bobby always. <laughs> Pat, you said you didn't want to use Viagra. Why don't you want to try it now? Joanne, have you said to this man? Pat, There's that little blue pill. We could have a sex life. There is a Viagra that you could take. I with. tried it. Tried. He has it. Not about the Viagra. Wait a second. You're, I got to hear this from Joanne. Okay. <laughs> Joanne, I, I'm looking you over. I'm a pretty good judge of women. Mm -hmm. You got a killer body. Thank you. Killer. What did you I would, say? If you, if you were new to my bed and I took a Viagra, I'm sure that I could service you. This is amazing what you're saying. That Pat took a Viagra and nothing. I think it's all in his head. It, it's got to be psychological at that it's point. It's not in my head. It's in my cock. No, it's all in his head. It is. You're it's, right. I mean, when it's you... It's not that he on. doesn't want to. What was I the saying? I think he just gets too uptight. Have you guys tried a sex therapist? No. Listen to me. No. Oh. Listen to me. I ain't trying no such thing. You understand? Because okay. if I do, Why, I you're know full of shit. Are you embarrassed? They will give you a homework assignment. Why would I be embarrassed if I'm talking about it in public? But they would give you a homework assignment. They ain't giving me that. Okay. It's one thing to make. Okay, here's my statement. It's one thing. Here's my fucking final statement. I thank God every day I can pee. Pee, pee, pee. No way. Fuck, 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 I don't need. Wait, you're going to hurt yourself. Pee, pee, pee. You're gonna hurt I yourself. love to pee. I got friends that I got prostate. They cry, mother of God, let me see some pee. I go, I can do that. <laughs> now, can you fuck your wife? Yeah, but I can't pee. Keep yeah, fucking your you, wife. But I'll pee. It's one thing to be, it's one thing to be funny he about does it. Pee. It's one thing to be funny about it. He it's another thing to go to a therapist and treat it in a serious way. Jews go to therapists because they're insecure. I'm a fucking Italian. If they ever find out I went to a therapist, I'll be in deep shit. I'm not even circumcised. What the fuck is You're that? Not? No. no. Joanne, no. did you know that he's not circumcised? She never saw it. <laughs> well, you wear a towel? Mine goes seen him in and out. Mine goes in and out when I pee, and I thank God, Mother of Jesus, I can pee. I got friends who can't pee, and I'm going, I wait, can't wait to second. pee at yeah. that show. This is silly. This is silly. It's this not silly. silly. Jews go for everything for a fucking hangnail. Yeah. <laughs> Do you I just feel... bite the fucking nail off and spit it out. Do you have a psycho <laughs> Joanne said it's psychological. I think I know what she means. <laughs> Your deceased wife, who you love very much, and I know that. The man loved his wife. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're cheating on her if you're with Joanne? I didn't have an affair with my wife the last ten fucking no, years. I'm saying, do you feel... Sex was over. It was time to get down to basics. We're going to get old and be a grandmother and grandfather. Fuck that. Wow. Wow. That's Italian's thinking. Joanne, when you... Jews don't think that. I had a no, woman in Florida. <laughs> my altar Christ. I'm Italian. A woman in Florida. Florida. My woman in Florida. Jewish lady. My altar God. Right. She said, Mr. Cooper, I know you lost your wife. Right. And I saw her thank you. She said, I know you're a lonely man. She says, because a lot of Italians, which is Italian word, are lonely. 
Would you like a blowjob? <laughs> oh, I swear to God. Wait she, a minute. Yeah. She goes, I'll take the teeth out so you don't hear the click. <laughs> and I said, you'll take the teeth. I felt, I said, no, I'm fine. She goes, you must get rid of that stuff in there. Yeah. Because it can give you a prostate problem. <laughs> She's right. I said, I'm peeing. What the fuck do you want? No, wait a second. I know what Pat's talking about. But, Joanne, I just want to ask you one serious question. <clears throat> when, as Dominic says, when, so you were in the room with him. Mm-hmm. Pat took the Viagra. Mm-hmm. He got it obviously from a doctor, mm-hmm. and he took it. And you sat there and you waited. How long did you wait, waiting to see? She's still waiting. <laughs> still waiting. <laughs> All right, I give up. Uh, you got to go see Pat I'm Cooper. Still waiting. <laughs> November thirtieth. I'm giving up, Dominic. I'm sorry. Uh, well, would Joanne like to go to a sex therapist? Yeah, Joanne. Would I you? don't need to go to a sex therapist. No, Robert, I'm, she's I'm, Italian. I'm, They'll go. <laughs> I'm Italian. I don't go to sex Joanne, therapy. Joanne, you must be frustrated sexually. Do you take no, care of it in your I, with your I, own? I, I, well, do you have a device of some kind or? Uh, yes. 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 I bought her a gold one. Yes. <laughs> I said, I'm not going to pry. I'm not going to pry anymore. You can pry. What's up? I'm not going to pry anymore. Pry. I'm embarrassed. Uh, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I I feel bad for Joanne. Wait a minute. You know what I read every day? No. No, he does. You know what I read? Every day. Every day I read the penthouse letters. I oh, got about do? 50 he fucking does. books. Every time I go to the bedroom, I say, maybe I get an erection for the letters. <laughs> right. Nobody knows how to write about fucking. I still <laughs> sit there. And the the letters right. aren't erotic enough for you. Uh, uh, what did, is your punch? Joe, what, you got to eat. I, I'm going to eat. You Don't worry. Fucking, this, I'm so that hungry. yogurt shit is terrible. Yogurt. I have a fucking salami sandwich. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> you know, Artie's eating. He's eating over there having a party. And I, wish I, was, I wish I was in on the party. You should try Viagra Parmesan. It's very good. <laughs> Joanne, oh, he loves his food. Uh, yes. You are a lovely woman. I, Thank I, you. I Howard. consider it an honor to meet you. Thank you so I know much. That I'm honored to meet you, and and fact, Robin. And well, everybody. I'm so happy that yes. Pat has someone in his life that yes. makes him happy. That's yes. wonderful. I imagine you were married before, had kids, I and stuff. Thank God, because yeah. uh, she's least, a grandmother. I was, my grandmother. It's hard to believe. I thought, you, I thought you were in your forties. I thought you were in your forties. No, I said so. Bless you. You look good. No. I, I mean, how Pat no. got you is a whole other mystery. 56. <laughs> I don't 50, know either. You're 56. Yeah, yeah I feel wow. I'll be 57 in two weeks. You got a young one, Pat. Look at you, Pat. <laughs> You got a young one, but you know, it's like having a, a, a Maserati and you don't know how to drive don't it. Dri- you don't drive it. If he, I cry, I will kill myself. He drives it halfway. So I can't let it get the best of me, Howard. You got a beautiful I, woman. Tell you, Honestly, you do. Howard, Howard, you got a woman. She's Howard, nice. You don't have to tell me that. I understand. But I always Satisfy say, Satisfy Don't say. be selfish. Go to the sex therapist. Satisfy <laughs> Fuck the sex therapist. <laughs> all right, all right. Pat Cooper, November 30th. Is that it? Uh, th- well, wait, let me, let me, let me wait, sum up. We're going to give you Calm a down. good plug now. Oh, I know he's in a hurry to get me the fuck out of here. We're going to do the plug, and then we got three more guys that are going to roast you. <laughs> See Pat Cooper, November 30th at the Broadway Theater in Pittman, New Jersey. It's a big gig for you. Uh, it's it's going to be a big deal. See Pat at the Show Palace in Hudson, Florida, January 21st and 22nd. Yeah. You're traveling the country. Joanne, I assume you'll be there, too. You travel with Pat. If she wants to. Right. No one pushes pressure. He never puts pressure on me, yeah. whatever I want to do. All of these shows, you'll have no paper on stage. We just you. come back from Spain. Yeah. Okay. Now, you I'm an easy guy, so I have $4,000 in cash in my pocket. That's oh, impressive. God. I don't know too much about Europe. We went there, it was nice. You're going to buy their fucking euro. Right. So I gave him $1,000, they gave me back $600 fucking dollars. So I said to the guy, excuse me, is what is your problem? Are there any Jews in here? He goes, what do you want Jews for? They wouldn't come here and get fucked up like you people do. <laughs> <laughs> no, you told them that. You're not afraid. Even in the foreign country. I don't give a fuck. Afraid. Where am I care. going? You don't care. No, because it's the truth. That's the Jews don't come here and go, you want $400 on my thousand? Fuck you. I've got Israel. What the fuck do I need you for? Patrickle.com. That's like, I got enemies all over the world. We went on a boat. And I told the lady next to me. She goes, we are in Valencia. I says, yes. She goes, tomorrow we go to Corsica. I said, no, tomorrow you're going to go behind Valencia. They're going to call it Corsica. This fucking broad believes it. Tells the captain. See, they have no idea where they are. They rip you off. You're right. You're right. You know a lot of stuff. They I got to say. They understand you over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> PatCooper.com. Believe it or not, Pat's on the internet now. Oh. He's got a website. Oh, I bet you he doesn't even know how to get to it. And David Brenner <laughs> called me. He wants me to do his thing. Oh. He's got something on the internet. He's getting comics. He called yes. me Oh, yesterday. yes, yes, yes. And he said, Pat, I'm going to send you. He says, i got to have you on this thing. That's, that's an honor. I said, Dave. He says, they're going to come from California to fly there to do it with you. So I must have some kind of points in his business. Sure you do. I mean, right? David Brenner. I mean, that's You know, great. today, your fucking rating is going to go through the fucking roof. I know. Today, I'll finally get some ratings. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not getting ratings like you think they are. 
Right. You know what you're getting? Word of mouth. No, you're getting <laughs> gifts. People give a Cyrus for gift. They say, what the fuck? We'll turn them on. Right, right, right. Years ago, you had millions. Of course. It's a different business. It's a different business. It's not a different business. Are you feeling bad for You fucking went up town. You don't fucking understand. You're with the Bon Jovi's there, baby. You're with the Paul McCarthy's. Yeah, I'm whooping it up. Let me tell you. You should only see how much fun I'm having. Yeah, Pat, I sound like you're feeling sorry for Howard. He is. He feels bad for me. Yeah. By the way, on Pat's website, we notice Pat is a brunette on his website. You know, you have dark hair on it. On your your website, website. you got dark hair. They gave you dark hair. Somebody colored it in. Somebody colored in his hair? Do you know that? You don't know. You don't care. Pat Cooper, (laughs) patcooper.com. Go see him and his shows and everywhere else. He's funny. Oh, my God. Who is that? I didn't even know who that was. Look Look at that, Pat. Pat, there's your website. Who is the person on that that picture? Is that you? My son-in-law did that. I'll kill him. (laughs) (laughs) See, I'll tell you how bad... I'll tell you how back with it. I still get the dial phone. There's your fucking answer. Oh. You've never been on your own website. I don't know anything about that shit. I don't want to know. And there you got jet black hair. I no, don't even yeah. know who that is. <laughs> well, if you sort of analyze this, I had black hair. Yes. I had a dye to fuck it. I'm here. stupid. You're fine. Uh, no, Pat I'm Cooper, not fine. November 30th at the Broadway <laughs> Theater in Pittman, New Jersey. And see Pat at the show Palace in Hudson, Florida, on January 21st. Yes, but that's but it. don't uh, go walking out yet. Yeah, no, I'm going to take a couple of pictures because she has right, to show right, her son down. who's right, blind. We're, we're gonna, yeah. down. That's the only reason why I'm with him. We're so going to come here. We're going <laughs> to take a break <laughs> and we'll be back right after, after this. It's over. Oh. And thank you, Joanne. Thank, thank you, Howard. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. Someone wrote in the paper they were sick of all the Bruce Springsteen interviews and things. I don't see that many. I mean, the guy's out promoting a record, you know. Uh, Bob Levy, uh, I should uh, bring in Bob. He, Bob helped out with uh, roasting Pat. That was very nice, although it was hard to get a word in edgewise. And, and <laughs> Sal, I'm just like so freaked out by. I mean, I said to Sal and Bob and Shuley, would you just come in real quick and roast Pat a few lines? Bob, I'm talking about. Hey, sit down. I'm talking about, I said to you guys, and you were very gracious. Mm-hmm. I said, you, can you come in real quick and just roast Pat a little yeah. bit? Yeah. So that uh, we could see how he reacts to a roast, because he knows, and he was great with it. But it's very hard but to Sal, do. Sal, I mean, why didn't he just go up and shoot somebody in the head? Well, he will <laughs> at one of these roasts. Yeah. Sooner or Sal. Later. Sal, you're a good guy. I, I mean, what makes you interesting is that you sort of, you know, we don't know, you're not predictable, but. That was, I mean, Jesus Christ. I he, agree, but there was no, we got, I had a whole bunch of jokes written down. So do I your a, jokes. Yeah, but there was nowhere to go, and it got to a what point. What do you mean nowhere to go? Well, the whole goal. Don't go. The whole goal was to get under his skin, and he, nobody was getting under his skin, and we wanted to see how far we you could were, take it. I know it's a cheap, low blow. I, I he know made that. One of his of his the, the woman with him. I realized that, but at this point there was really nowhere to go, and I, I hope that I, I, that was a real cringe it, for me. Wait, I, I, that was. But you know, I can tell you for the first time in the history of the show, Howard, I can't remember ever doing this, but I actually walked out with Pat and Joanne, made sure the cameras were off, and I apologized for what had happened because I really was it was crazy. It was a, well, the goal was, was to offend. Attack. The goal was to offend no, him, and no, Gary. No, the, and the goal, goal was, was not to offend. It was not, not. It was to see how far we could take with it. With Pat, not somebody sitting there taking the shrapnel. Yeah, you know what this is the equivalent of when, when somebody goofed about that your kids were gay. That has nothing to do with you, and that upset you. Right. That's exactly what I did, Gary. Good point. <laughs> you were fucking retarded, Gary. You just you just validated my point. Yeah. I went to someplace else. No, I mean, you could, you didn't have to. I didn't ask this, you to go there. I know, and you're not supposed to. Right. I mean, that's what you do. I mean, you, you know, you let me be me. And Bob, who, but but he didn't get a laugh with it, did he? No. No. Uh, he was like Pat was chasing us around the whole fucking time. I mean, I've never seen that crazy fucking old guy coming at you just because I had paper in my fucking hand. I was like, hey, take the paper, you I fucking wasn't even going to do the joke, and in the last minute, Richard goes, just call her a cunt. I don't even think it was a joke. Richard, Richard, now you're oh, Richard did it. Richard's idea. Richard, you write her? Someone to blame. Yeah, no. <laughs> amazing. You guys are going to say no, but that. I'm saying it wasn't even a joke. I, when I said roast, I meant do a joke. You're, right. you're good at doing some of these roast well, jokes. Well, look how the point was how I threw it back in his face. I threw away the paper. Oh, I spoke okay. to a man. What am I supposed next to do? Next time I won't ask you. Nothing oh, not next time you won't ask no, me. No, no, no. Right, do it on tape. Go ahead. So I can Ooh, my to dice? I'm going to mail a video in? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I, a jo- I, you got to do a joke. You can't just go up and say, hey, you're a cunt. I know. I agree. There was no joke. So there's nothing left. Levy could no, have There was any- plenty of room. But, you know, yeah. He asked me, he said, was that guy a comedian? And he wasn't kidding around. Like, he goes, look, who is that guy? Yeah, is he a right, comedian? I go, guy, huh? he's sort of a comedian. He's working on it. He's working on being a comedian. He's trying to be. Very good. 
Oh, what am I supposed to do, dude? What you am I supposed to do? You should have just read the jokes. You're supposed fucking... to tell Bro. jokes. Uh, Rob, no, Julian I, I, Levy got up and told a few jokes. That's I think Cunt was his closing line, and he opened with it. <laughs> we tried, Although it was difficult, you know. Uh, most times when you roast people, they're not running a back and forth between the dais and the podium. Yeah, and, I and haven't been chased by a guy face. with a members only jacket since 1977. <laughs> I mean, I was fucking terrified. I, I'm sure, because he came at you. He came right at oh, you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Who did this? Uh-huh. Uh, Pat Coop, they had a Pat Cooper roast. Yeah, Jackie Gary, was there. Gary sat on the dais. Oh, oh you're kidding. It's great because Gary said to me, who would have thought, like, looking out, he goes, Jackie's in the audience and I'm sitting on the dais because he used to be the other way around. Right, and Jackie's always hey. been Mr. Fryer. But, uh, yeah, it was always important for Jackie to sit on the dais even if they wouldn't let him be in the show. Right. And now Gary's sitting up there and Jackie is in the audience. That had to be fucking making him mental. A comedian told me that uh, a comedian who, you know, I think is pretty good said, you know, Jackie's a funny guy. He goes, but he did not do well when, at, he, was when he did the last rose. Yeah. He said he just did, like, old jokes. But oddly, Gilbert did old jokes and killed. Well, yeah, Gilbert's know. funny because he just refuses. Gilbert didn't mention Pat Cooper's name. <laughs> he just, I mean, right. he well, is that really right for a roast? It's I mean, not for a roast. Well, but well, well, he, well, why do they keep inviting him? Because he's a favorite. I mean, look, he told 15 of the oldest, dirtiest, funniest jokes ever written, and he told them well, and he got a lot of laughs. But was it a roast? No. Yeah, no. Well, I, I but, go there to hear to make fun of Pat Cooper. Yeah. Mm, uh, well, how did that go? I mean, was there some It was good fun. Stuff? It was yeah. great. Yeah, it was Jerry a lot of said, fun. Um, uh, you said, who had the best... No you said, Belzer had the best joke of the night about Pat. Best line no, no, of the best, night. The best line of the night about Lisa Lampanelli. <laughs> that was the, the line of the night. What was the line? Said, there were a lot of, like, weird guys on the dance, like, sort of peripheral Sopranos people, like the guy that played Hesh uh -huh. and the guy that played Johnny Sachs. And he goes, yeah, a lot of Sopranos to here tonight. Uh, he goes... Uh, they tried to get big pussy, but instead we got stuck with giant cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that, that, that was the line. line of the night. Yeah. That's wow. a good line. But so he also uh, went Artie first. did really well. Yeah. And, uh, well, Belzer, Belzer gave me a nice uh, setup because he had this, he wasn't on cocaine, but he had this crazy coke sniffle. In between each joke, he would go, <laughs> and it was very noticeable. He's got a big schnoz. Right. And then uh, Fitzsimmons, is, Greg Fitzsimmons went up, and he did well, and he mentioned it. And I was like, am I the only one who sounds like it? <laughs> thank God Greg mentioned it. So everyone was making jokes about me being a drug addict. So <laughs> it was a three-hour show, and I went up there. Too and I long. Said, I, way too long. It was like it was three hours. Wow. So at the end, I was like, I said, God, this is getting slow, guys. I'm, I said, I'm so desperate for Coke, I think I'm going to let Belzer sneeze in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, but what did the, you say? Did anybody make any good cracks about Pat Cooper? What was, one, what was the one you said about? Um, I, actually, that's a joke that I wrote that never made it to. Oh the, no, but there was other jokes about Pat, wasn't there? Yeah, there, I, was, uh, there was tons of jokes about, mostly jokes about Pat. They were all about Pat being angry. Pat, Bur you know, somebody said somebody got up and said, uh, you know, Pat doesn't wait to get off the bridge to burn it. He burns it while he's on it. But actually, Norm Crosby was there, and he was pretty funny. Yeah, he's a good comic. But he told a story that was just, this was a great roast thing. He told a story that wasn't necessarily a joke. He said that they live in Vegas together, and they did some TV show, some local morning TV show together. And Pat got up, and he said... There's no there's no stars in this town. Everybody in this town sucks. There's no funny comedians. The club owners are stupid. They're morons. You know, did that whole rap and everything. And then he says that he, he goes, I swear to God, Pat calls me a week later. He goes, I don't know, Norm. I can't get booked. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> he can't figure it out. But he genuinely didn't know. No, he he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He, he just sabotages himself. Uh, but, but you said the N-word was flowing pretty well, slowly. Oh, that was a weird thing. So the only black guy there is Michael Spinks. Right. And oh, so Michael no. or Leon? Michael. Michael Spinks. Michael Spinks, right? So Pat gets up, and Pat's just, he's riffing. He does no paper. He just, you know, he looks down the line, sees what he sees, and whatever comes to his head, he goes with. But he goes, I don't understand, by the way. Now, we're not allowed to say the word nigger anymore. No, we're not allowed to say nigger. He goes, <laughs> guess what? Nigger, 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 nigger. Nigger, 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 nigger. Thank you. And I go, God, that wasn't right. He looked at Michael and said that. It was yeah. sort of like hate him. Yeah, I mean, like, what? what, what didn't Michael wow. get up and pop him in the head? No. Well, no. I, well, you know, it's like, what's that about? <laughs> it was very That's Michael not Richards. Even funny. Michael was the go to black guy right. if he needed a joke, but it was, uh, like, I was going along fine, but no one mentioned the kid thing with him. Right. So and I get, went up again towards the end and I was like, I don't know, was that really a taboo? So I made a, a joke about him uh, not 
you know, having a relationship with some of his kids. And it, was, Cooper. it was as if I took a shit on stage. <laughs> right. The only person not offended was Pat. I looked at him and goes, I don't care. But everybody else was like, ooh. And I guess that was a taboo. Yeah, people thought mm. that was taboo. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, bringing up the kid thing. Uh, Artie told one joke that, I, that, that didn't go over so well, and I can't remember what it was, but it was sort of... It was sort of racial, and I was the punchline, and I couldn't figure out if it didn't go over because nobody knew who I was. Uh -huh. Or what was the joke, Artie? It was uh, uh, Bill Maher calls Richard Bell <laughs> Bill Maher calls Richard Belzer an asshole in a new book, and I said Bill Maher calling Richard Belzer an asshole would be like Gary Delabate calling Michael Spinks a monkey. <laughs> How much you got over Ben? Uh, so it, uh, yeah, it's it, uh, pretty, you know, it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, someone fun. else made a joke about you too, right, Gary? Oh, Greg, Greg Fitzsimmons did a good joke. I mean, you just there's like 50 <laughs> people on the dais, so you know, you just look down and he goes, uh, "Oh, Gary Delabate's here." He goes, uh, "What's the matter? Sit and sleep didn't need you this weekend." Uh, That's a funny joke. And right? then he goes, and then there was another. Oh, comedian yeah, there was a, there were a few people with that uh, with that. See, theme. you go, you see, you do the race, race, you do some race humor and edgy stuff. You got to do that, or it's boring. Well, yeah. Well, the other thing is, and again, I made one. One joke that uh, the joke I made about Jeff Ross stealing, you know that joke? I, yeah, I, it was good. I, well, no, no, good but I, I, no, it did well and everything, but uh, already some internet uh, radio show in Boston called me about it, and I hate this because I don't uh, want to make it like I think Jeff Ross like is a issue. thief. Yeah. I, it's just something that's a rumor, and I, I've never experienced it before, but he was just the best target for this joke. And I don't know. He's a he's a funny comic. And the the joke was, um, and I can't make it again next year because it's current events. I said I don't want to say Jeff Ross steals jokes, but his comedy coach is Bill Belichick. <laughs> and uh, so now because that's a Boston guy, they picked up on that. I said, listen, I don't want to. I don't think Jeff Ross is a thief, right? In any way, shape, or you were form. You were trying to make a joke. It was just a stupid joke, and they're like, oh, I don't know. And I'm like, I, I, I he never stole anything from me. That's all. What do you? Um can I, I don't understand why you do these roasts. I mean, isn't it a lot of pressure? There's no television exposure at the Pat Cooper one. I mean, why would you do it? I don't it's know. Fun. I, I feel mean, like it's a, a fucking pain in the ass. I feel, I is feel, it an honor no. uh, in the comedy world? Yes, it is. For them to ask you to do, like, this is the fourth time they've asked me to come back, and the... Uh, that indicates. I mean, if you don't. Seems like a lot of work. If I thought, you don't I thought, do well, if you don't do well, they don't ask you back. Right. So the fact they ask you back is a is a big deal. It's a very New Yorky fun day, you know. I felt bad for Artie in the sense that it's a, it seems like a lot of pressure, well. and Artie didn't know when he was going on. So Artie's got his notes there, then somebody tells a joke, Artie got to cross it out, Artie thinks a new joke. He, he doesn't know when he's going on. It's a lot of, it's a lot of pressure. And, and so it seemed like for Artie, he couldn't enjoy himself until he went on and he was third from the last. Hold on, Bruce Springsteen's on the phone. He wants to call in and thank us for talking about it. All right. Oh, who is this? Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh huh? Venmo, at milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard.